Spend taxpayers' money. James Harrow. The people's hero. <laughs> I heard the White House sends him golden toilet paper. As long as he keeps the presidential ass clear of tick trouble. Feed him well. We've got a lot of ground to cover tonight. You're not staying for the presentation? The whole institute is in town. Uh, I'll pass on the corporate back padding session. I don't need another retirement lecture. Here, take this to your father before it wakes up and starts cursing us all to high hell. Great, so I'll just tell him you've traded killing vampires for swilling cheap bourbon? Tell him whatever you want. Fine, skip the presentation. But you ain't getting away from a final drink with me afterwards. Sweet home. This could be a long day. Mr. Rentier? At ease, boys. My father in his office? He is. Hello, sir. Director Rentier spared no expense to improve those. Director Rentier sure looks edgy. Something's up. I can smell it. First year of cadet training. I'm the shortest one of the bunch. Well, the very next year, I grew like a weed. Had to buy all new pants. Edgar and my father in the Civil War. Right before the bloody Battle of the Wilderness, Central Virginia. His life changed forever during that fight. Highborn nearly killed him. Badly tore up his leg. Edgar carried him in the dead of night across enemy lines to a field hospital, but... The surgeon could only do so much. After that, Dad could no longer function in the field. Heavy as hell. Where the hell you been? Thought you got bitten by some tick. Some of those fangy fellas were hiding out in Providence. That's why the president ordered the western border secure. Grave nurse with you. He sends his regards. He's afraid you'll try and talk him out of retirement again. I don't believe either of us want that. You know he did risk his life to get this for you. That's Harrow's trinket. I'm sure you'll both be rewarded accordingly. Edgar isn't some civilian looking for a medal. This is all he knows. Your institute saw to that. My institute? <sighs> this isn't about Agent Gravener, Jesse. We are on the cusp of great progress. Great change. Today's presentation is of critical importance to the family. After which... Edgar is family. After which, I expect you to step up to your duties here at the manor. With all due respect, Director, I am a field agent, not a paper pusher. You're a rentier! <sighs> Why must you always make me spoon-feed these things to you, Jesse? There are bigger things at work here than running around in caves slaying beasts. I do believe someday soon you will see it my way. And if you don't, it's my responsibility to force that change. Now, leave me be. I must prepare for the presentation.
and send someone in here to clean up this mess. Did you hear about those ones that grew tentacles? That's a first. Miss Rennie, Agent Feathers is waiting for you in the lobby. That priest armed with holy water crosses and whatnot. <laughs> and that tip, he was scared still. Oh, officially they called it a cholera epidemic, but truth was they were dealing with a terrible outbreak of amateur necromancy. The entire institute was engaged in the hunt. I would have loved to have seen his face when you walked in with that gauntlet. <laughs> You're just in time. The presentation should be starting soon. What do you got for me this time? Taking it. Her by the stable. Good to see you back, sir. <laughs> gentlemen, uh, gentlemen, if you'll take your seats. And, uh, <laughs> welcome. Yeah, I'm Assistant Secretary of War, James Harrow. President Cleveland wants you to know how appreciative we are of the vital service the Urentia Institute performs. Defending our great country from monsters of all shapes and sizes. He also wanted me to make sure you're not blowing all our money on Mexican Monty. But that's another conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, quite. Well, uh, <clears throat> as I say, keep up the good work. God bless you all and uh, God bless America. Thank you all for gathering here tonight. It's rare we gather in such numbers, but I believe great progress calls for momentous celebration. Our efforts in the fight against the Sanguisuja's spread have too often been baffled by the creature's most insidious weapon, their so-called glamours. These impenetrable illusions have allowed countless fiends to slip through our grasp for too long. That ends now. Agent Rent here. We've upgraded the standard field agent's gauntlet with something our science bods have affectionately named the Zapper. Not exactly an elegant name, but it does the trick. When triggered, the Zapper sends out an electrical impulse that shatters any nearby Sanguizoo's glamours forthwith, eliminating what is not and leaving only what is. Once finished, these new gauntlets will be distributed to cells nationwide post haste allowing us to sweep our respective territories for glamoured nooks and crannies. This is the beginning of a new age, gentlemen. Armed with this gauntlet, there is no way our enemy can surprise us.
Christ. I'll beg him to help one piece. Yes! Thank Christ! Where's my father? Still kicking ass, last time I saw him. Old fool thinks he's still in the field. Listen, he wants us to destroy the archives before these assholes get their hands on it. You get to it, and I'll find Harold's pampered ass. Meet me out front. Never thought I'd have to blow up my own house. Hold on, pal. You're gonna be fine. You okay, Agent? Just hold on. I'm gonna find who did 
this and tear them a new asshole. Ah, I ain't moving. Must be missing something. Joseph Warren and great grandfather Dick. To find the tech headquarters, he let the Brits take him captive. Would have loved to have seen the surprise on their faces when he incinerated those tick nests and saved their royal asses. It's gonna blow. 
now to find my father.
is this? Get him out of here. I got this. Don't be cross with me, Father. I couldn't leave you at the mercy of these savages. Do not do that, you fleshy toad! You nearly hit him. <laughs> <laughs> 